gradient pillar candles. This is the way I do it. Um, I do not like, especially when with tall pillar candles, I do not like seeing lines of each color. Well, don't like that. I like when everything is blended and the color just goes seamlessly together. Before anything else and before I continue, subscribe, go on, just do it. You like what you see. Just give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. It helps more than you know, and it tells me what you want to see next. So if you want to see more of this, please, please let me know. And I'm happy to shoot more content for you guys. Just do it. The wax is at the correct temperature. So I'm gonna take it off the double boiler and we're gonna pour the first layer. So I've got four colors i've got natural pink lilac and blue i want blue to be the last and smallest one so i want my natural to go maybe all the way here um, so i'm just going to go ahead and pour that Okay, so I pop that back on my double boiler and I'm going straight away with my pink. I don't want it to be very pink, but you know, still that it shows. So I'm just going to go with two dabs. Okay. And it's going to be ready super fast. You want the second layer to be hotter than the main one. So this one needs to start setting a little bit. Um, for us to pull the second one. It's already starting, as you can see, to solidify at the base. However, this here is still too hot. I'm just gonna pop it out for now. Okay, so a little time has passed. You can see that we are in a jellyfied state here. Um, so it's gonna be time to pour. I'm checking my temperature. I'm 79 here. It's a little bit warmer then I would usually pour, but you want that so it does blend a little bit. So I'm just going to go and do the pink all the way to here, almost halfway through the candle. Now I've got my pink wax back on the double boiler and I'm going to go in with a little bit of lilac. So here we can see the pink has started to, to solidify here and we now have, it's not really liquid anymore. You can see that if I do that, there's no movement of the liquid. So I'm going to go ahead and check the temperature of this, 85, so it's a bit too high. I'm going to wait for it to go under 80 um, to stop pouring. Now we're good to go and I'm going to go all the way up here. This is why you always pour the new layer warmer than the previous one. You can already see here the gradient ha appearing and you can already see that there is no line. It's because I'm consistently pouring warmer and this is not equal, it's bothering me. Meaning that you get that seamless movement up toward a darker color. So that was our lilac. I'm going to go in with a blue chip in the remaining of the wax to finish our candle. So that's the blue one I'm going with. This is dark blue. Any bit. I'm sure lots of you are going to ask, when do you know when you need to pull the next layer? Um, it's very much gauging on the eye. So here you can see that if I move it, you can see that the top still moves it's liquid still if i was to see if i move this way and this way it is moving so this is not ready it means that you're not ready to pour the the way you know when it's ready is that when you slightly tip the candle from one side to another it doesn't move you can see that it's slightly jellyfied but not liquid anymore that's when you want to go 
and I'm sorry there's no proper guide, there's no temperature, it's very much just you by experience and by trial and error knowing when it's the right time. So again, like if I shake it slightly here, I know that this is still moving. So it's too soon. So see how here when I tip on the side, it's still moving. So it's too liquid to go ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my last layer, which is my dark purple. They are fully demolded and I'm super happy with the result. As you can see, it's mission accomplished here, fully gradient. I could have been a bit smoother with this uh, darker line here, uh, but overall, I think it looks really, really nice. I hope this was helpful. And if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.